Time getting confirmed, whistles are blown and we are underway. Lindenwood with possession on the back line. Wilson over quickly to the near side, finds Kataranicia. Quick turnover and Denver has possession just like that. We'll get into some keys to the game for this one shortly. Denver with possession, that'll get knocked out of bounds. It'll be a quick corner for the Pioneers. I think they're actually gonna say that it was knocked out of bounds by Denver. So this actually will be a goal kick, but for Lindenwood, it's going to be playing a clean game. Defensive turnovers have been something that have hurt them at times this season. You have to be very careful with the ball, especially with your back five, including Sabotich, who they like to use a lot. Have to be smart, have to be relaxed if you're Lindenwood as well. It's no joke that this Denver team comes in as the favorite. They are the better team going into this matchup, but Lindenwood can't play intimidated. They have to play their own game. They cannot submit to this strong defensive game that Denver plays. Only 10 goals allowed this season by the Denver Pioneers, and on top of that, nine shutouts. Let me repeat that. 10 goals allowed, nine shutouts. It's been a heck of a season for Denver. Lindenwood with possession right now goes right back to the Pioneers. Holding on to it is Eli Marinus. Sends it to the back line. Finding Baloli. Being held on to by the defense currently for Denver. Over to the far side. Moving into their offensive zone. And it is knocked away and it rolls out of bounds and it will be a throw in for Denver. On that far side taking the throw in is Ronan Wynn. And still with possession over there now is De Leon. All the way back to the back line. No rush here for Denver to get something going. Trying to plan out an attack here two minutes into this one. No score, Denver and Lindenwood. The first meeting between these two teams in the program's history. Lindenwood brand new to the Division I level and brand new to the Summit League. Denver coming off of a second place finish in the Summit League last year with finishing with a record of 4-1-1 one, one in the conference. 10-4-5 overall. Ball entering into the zone. Now shot put on in the box. It is knocked away still with Denver though. Right outside, put on and right to Sabotic. Nice job there taking care of business as he slowly picks this one up. And there is our first shot on goal here of the game. So Bodic gonna clear this one away with the left where it's going to be met by the back line for Denver and sent all the way back to Name. He clears this one away as well. It is going to be headed out by Doer on the far side. Touched by a Lindenwood attacker and sent to the back line. Kataranicia is there to the near side. Campbell down the line, cuts back. Right back to his right back, Kataranicia, who's gonna send it over to an attacker, Mamutovic was there. Now Campbell with it. To the back line, Kataranicia, Lindenwood. In their last home game, faced off against Southern Indiana, and a huge key for them in that game was they controlled the way the game was played. They controlled possession, they controlled everything, and now ball knocked away. Bit too strong of a touch there, coming from Stefan De Leon, and that was a dangerous chance there for Denver, fortunately, just a bit too strong of a touch by De Leon and it doesn't bite the Lions. So on the opposite side, Name with it, has had an excellent season for Denver this season. A freshman out of Cheyenne Mountain High School in Colorado Springs. Ranked 17th in the country in goals against average, right under 70%. Also has six shutouts this season. That is good for top 20 in the country as well. So having a phenomenal season, but by any means it is not just him. This defense is absolutely phenomenal, very dangerous. Not a lot of shots being let up by this Denver defense. Only 33 shots allowed this season. 
Ball cleared away by the Linwood back line and sent all the way back to Name inside of his 18 yard box. And he rolls it right back out to his defense. Still with it on the back line is Denver. No rush here, just over five minutes into this one. They have had the majority of the possession here early. Lindenwood containing well though here in the opening minutes. Not allowing for any too crazy of opportunities here for Denver in the first couple of minutes. Lindenwood with possession, a takeaway there from the midfield. Knocked right back away though by Denver and they have possession on the far side with it is Ronan Wynn gets around one Lindenwood defenseman that's Dewar into the box headed away shot on net opportunity here and somehow Melvin Sabotich is able to get to it Melvin Sabotich what a fortunate turn of events there for Lindenwood it got past him at one point but the defense was able to deflect any opportunities there And fortunately, it is still a no score here in St. Charles. What a fortunate turn of events there for the Lions. That could have been a mess. So six and a half minutes in now, still no score. Dower's going to throw it in on the far side. To the back line for Denver. It'll be sent to the opposite side. Wilson over to the near side. Here is Katarinicia. He'll meet it before it rolls out of bounds. Good through ball sent, just a bit too much on it there. As Campbell was in pursuit, it's cleared out and it'll head on out of bounds where it'll be a throw in for the Lions in their offensive zone, on their offensive attacking side. You see on that replay, it was a Denver attacker that was able to get their head to it before Sabotich could, that was Ian Smith and he was the one that caused all the chaos. Fortunately, Lindawood able to avoid anything crazy happening. Doer tried to put a shot on net on the volley. It's deflected away in front by the Denver defense and it will take a couple of bounces where it'll go to Doer. Now numbers the other way, a defensive turnover. Great through ball going over to De Leon off of the post. Opportunity coming the other way. Deflected again, shot on just over the crossbar. Oh my goodness, three golden chances for the Denver attackers. Nothing come of out, coming out of it. Oh my goodness, De Leon off of the far post. Coming on the rebound, Sabotich was there, but it was deflected in front. It got past Sabotich, a defenseman was there, and then it was just above the crossbar on the third opportunity. What a job there by the Lindenwood defense. And we are not even 10 minutes into this game. And opportunities have been all over the place for Denver. Lindenwood needs to turn the tides here quickly. Good ball sent into the box. Cleared away by Doer though, well done. The attack has been strong from Denver, but Lindenwood has held and no score so far in this one. Five shots put on so far, only one on goal for the Pioneers. Lindenwood on the other side with one shot so far. The Lions containing the attack or trying to contain the planned attack here. from Denver doing a good job here at the moment. Sends it up to the midfield. With it is Smith, sends it back to the back line. On the far side, Jason Baloli, the sophomore out of Geneva, Illinois. Sends it to the far side, Smith. Tried finding his attacker on the through ball, wasn't able to do so, too much on it. And it will be a goal kick. So Meldon Sabotich 
will take the goal kick wearing the all purple kit. So far this season, Sabotic has played in 13 games, 29 goals allowed, a goals against average of 2.42 is near the bottom here in the conference. 49 saves. On the far side, as we speak of goalies, Name with it, sends it up to his defense. Trying to find a, an attacker on the through ball. Great job there, but though, by Flax. Over to Doer, and it's cleared away. Back to the Denver midfield. Down the far sideline. Attempted tackle there by Doer, and now we're going to have a whistle. We'll have a free kick here for Denver. Good through ball played there, and it was Doer that they're going to give it to. Just clipped. The Denver attacker, I believe that that was Smith on the far side. So this will be from about 30 yards out. Smith looks like he's going to be taking the free kick, trying to send something into the box. Headed out by Doer, right over to Sabotic, Fejo Sabotic that is, and to the back line where Denver will look to reset. For Linwood so far, it's been sustaining this very strong attack for the Pioneers. They've held strong so far. A little bit of a mix of Linwood doing a good job on the defense and a little bit of luck as well in there. As Denver has had a couple of good opportunities, well, honestly, they're probably uh, licking their chops right now a little bit. And Jamie Franks, I imagine the head coach for Denver, not too happy with those missed opportunities. But they continue to put on the pressure here. Lindenwood with a takeaway, but it's knocked away right back to Denver. Lindenwood hasn't been able to create too much possession here in the first 13 minutes of this one so far. It has been majority with the Pioneers. Denver looking for their 10th win on the season. Five draws so far this year. Also looking for their fifth win in conference. They currently are in second in the Summit League behind Oral Roberts, who Lindenwood fell to early in the season by final of three to one. Their only loss at home this year at Hunter Stadium. On the back line, Baloli holding on to it, sends it up to Marinus. Right back to right to Baloli now. Over to the far side. And right now, Denver just playing keep away, holding on to it. On their back line, looking for this planned attack. We've seen them do this already several times in the opening minutes. Doer able to clear this one away, and it's going to find the head of Marinus, and he is going to, sorry, Baloli. And right back with it is Denver. The Pioneers looking to set something up here. They send it over to the far side. With it is Biggers down the far sideline, looking to enter into the box. Cross put up, and Sabotic there with the save. Knocked out of bounds, so it will be a corner kick for Denver. First corner of the game for either of the two teams. And the 92nd corner kick taken here by Denver this season. Ian Smith is in the corner, looking to send this one in. Put on, deflected up, off of the goal post. The football crossbar right above the goal. So it, I want to say they're going to say it was deflected out by Sabotic. 
So it will be another corner kick. Dangerous there in the box. That one took a bounce. Right in front. Fortunately, Sabotage able to get just enough on it to keep this one knotted at zero. Sent in once again. This time cleared out by Lindenwood. Still with possession, though, is Denver. They'll reset on the back line. De Leon with it now. Has it taken away, though, by Campbell. In pursuit now, trying to get to it first. A good dive there, and it'll roll out of bounds. Physical play there between Campbell and De Leon. De Leon a little bit shaken up. No ill intention clearly there. That was a good tackle by Campbell. So it rolls out of bounds at the Denver throw in now. And play resumes. The Denver defense once again holding on to possession. Lindenwood putting on a little bit more pressure now. Still plenty of pitch to work with now. They switch fields with it and they send it over to Jake Meekum. Meekum now looking to enter into the box. Sends it off to Smith and now we're gonna have a whistle blown. And the offside flag was up. That the 36th offside of the season called on Denver. That's good for the second most in the conference. So Melton Sabotich will take it. It looks like. And it looks like, yeah, that's exactly what's happened. I was going to say, play stopped there for a moment. Stefan De Leon is down on the pitch. And we saw him pretty shaken up after the tackle made by Campbell. Both players going for the ball, and he got the worst of it. So he goes down. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell in men's soccer when the injuries are legit or not. Just if it's part of the game, a lot of there's a little bit of a flair for the dramatic at all levels really of the game these days, but you could tell that time that De Leon, he was still shaken up after walking off and he's back down now. Trainer helps him up now and he'll have to come out for at least a moment now with the trainer coming on. Hobbling off, Stefan De Leon, a grad student standing at 5'10", out of Fort Collins, Colorado, went to Fossil Ridge High School. This season, one assist recorded is his only point. Has 10 shots on net, six of them on goal, though. There's also four yellow cards on the season. So tends to be a physical player for the Pioneers. Clock is stopped at 28 minutes and 27 seconds remaining. As Denver taking a little water break over there on the far side and waiting for play to resume here in just a moment. As we take a look here at the replay from that first corner kick, dangerous opportunity and Sabotich excellent reflexes to be able to put that one or get a hand on that one, get his hands on that one. Dangerous opportunity for Denver. They have been all over the sheet so far shot-wise. Only two on goal, seven in total though. But it's zero to zero so far and that is the number that matters. So Sabotich wearing the all purple kit We'll look to clear this one out inside of the 18. Ball sent away, getting ahead on it first is Campbell, I believe, for Lindwood. Takes a bounce over to Livingstone, deflected around like, like a little bit of pinball action over here on the near side for Denver, but they have numbers now. Ball sent down the near sideline, and with it there is McGowan, and a nice play there by Cooper Wilson to knock that one out of bounds, so we will have a throw in here for Denver. Just about 17 minutes into this one. 
No score so far. Denver has had opportunities. Lindenwood has kept it at no score so far. A little bit of miscommunication there between the defense for Lindenwood. So it'll be a throw in there on the near side for Denver. Not an area you want them playing around with it. They finally were able to clear it out. And right around midfield, it'll be a throw in for Denver. Holger Olsen, the substitution entering the game for Stefan De Leon. Quick throw and going the other way. And Kataranicia has it on his foot now. Sends it to the outside. And back to Wilson now. He looks to clear this one away. Rolling all the way down the line. Where it's sent from right to Name. Denver holding on to it on the far side. On the back line. Ball takes a bounce. Good touch there by... The winger here on the near side, Jake Meekum. Keep it in bounds. Tries again to the opposite side on the far side. It's kept in bounds now, trying to create an opportunity here with numbers. Holger Olsen with it now, sends the ball in. Looking for the offside, nothing there. Knocked away, still in the box though. Knock and finally taken away by the Lions. Anna Smilovich with it, he's gonna clear this one away. The first time we say his name really as the, since the game has begun. He's been a huge part of the Lions attack this season. Leads the team in goals with four. Meekum sends it back. Up to Sam Bassett. Haven't said his name very much since the game has begun. Physical play on the near side, but no whistle blown as of now. Quickly. Play resumes on the throw in. With it right at midfield is the Denver defense. A lot of back and forth between right and Baloli. Baloli with it currently, but right back to right, right on top of the Lion. To the near side, finding Smith. Right back to right. We see Denver doing this where they like to plan out their attacks and just honestly, they, they just go back and forth between those four defensemen, especially with Baloli and Wright at the center back spots. They just like to go back and forth between those guys, plan out, look for an opportunity here to send a ball up. Hasn't worked so far in this one as far as execution, putting one in the back of the net, but they've had several really good opportunities in this game so far. And a lot of it having to do with just being patient on the back line for Denver. Still no score in this one though. Lindenwood has to, while they're holding their own right now, no score. You can't win unless you create opportunities, put something in the back of the net. Not much of that happening so far for Lindenwood. Still a ways to go though, only just over 20 minutes into this game. Denver with possession on the near side here. Campbell looking to get to it before it rolls out of bounds, not able to. And it will be a throw in for Denver. Olsen's gonna quickly throw it in. And he finds Meekum, centers it over to Smith. To the back line, Baloli. Once again over to right. This time up to Marinus. Olsen with it, down the near sideline. That one is going to roll out of bounds just a bit much there on the attempted through ball from Eli Marinus, a senior out of Centennial, Colorado. A lot of Colorado recruits here on this Denver team, not a surprise there. Cooper Wilson throwing this one in down the near sideline, takes a bounce. With it is Devin Livingstone, but hasn't knocked away too many on him. Harbatten in pursuit, but not before the Denver defense is able to knock the ball away. And now going the other way, Holger Olsen with it now entering into the box. Opportunity here for Denver. Deflected in front and put into the back of the net. one nothing. Denver takes the lead. It was a rebound opportunity. 
As you can see, Olsen entering in, had the deflection off of the foot of Sabotich, and Sam Bassett was there to nail that one in. And just like that, it's one nothing, Denver on top. Sam Bassett's seventh goal of the season. Now 17 points on the year, having himself a phenomenal year. So Lindenwood, we'll see how they respond. Now trailing against the number 10 team in the country. On the far side. Denver back with possession. Goal scored at the 21-58 mark. Now in the box. Someone better clear it away for the Lions. It's deflected in front. Campbell is there now and he'll take it outside of the box and sends a ball through, finds Livingstone. Looked for the one two, but it's knocked off of Livingstone's foot and it will be a throw in for the Lions. That goal like once again scored by Sam Bassett just about 22 minutes into the game. On the back line, Denver with possession. Still holding on to it. Creating possession. You can tell the chemistry is clearly there for the Pioneers. Passing for the large majority is very crisp. And as I say, that Sam Bassett sends the ball out of bounds. Play resumes, Cotteranicchia with it. Sends it up to Campbell. Deflected away and it's back with Denver, but taken away there by Smilovich and a little bit of physical play between Smilovich and Marinus. And now we are going to have, looks like a card drawn. This is going to be on Sam Bassett. Referee wanting nothing to do with the behavior there. We take a look again there. It was a little physical play between Smilovich and Marinus. And then you see Sam Bassett coming through and knocking the ball away on what would have been a free kick there. And that's enough to get him. A yellow card, so a goal scored and a card, his third card on the season. Ball knocked out of bounds, it will be a throw in. A couple of substitutions ready to enter the game for Lindenwood. That'll be Isaac Hogue along with Caleb Suits. On the back line, Wilson with it, sends it up to Memutovich, back to Sabotich on side of the box, over to Wilson for the Lions, looking to send a ball up, it's knocked away. Another defensive turnover, fortunately it's taken right back though by the Lions. Memutovich over to Wilson, sends it up, tried to find Fejo Sabotich, wasn't able to do so, it's another turnover for the Lions. And now on the attack, Attempted shot there, deflected away by a defender for Lindenwood. Denver still with possession right side, right outside of the 18. Bit too much of a strong touch there from Ronan Wynn, and it will be a goal kick for the Lions. Our substitutions now. Suits and Hogue entering. Livingstone coming off, as well as Fejo Sabotic. Isaac Hogue. A 6'4 sophomore out of Arnold, Missouri, went to Seckman High School. Caleb Suits, a 5'11 junior out of O'Fallon, Missouri, just down the road, went to Fort Zumwalt West High School. Sabotich will clear this one away. Gonna go right about to the midfield line and 
right to the Denver defense. Beautiful through ball sent here on the near side over to Smith. Correction over to Meekum. Smith now sends it to the near side. He is able to find Miranis. Trying to get it into the edge of the box. Knocked away though, great takeaway by Cooper Wilson. He has it now, moving down the near sideline. And now a whistle's gonna be blown and a foul's gonna be called here against Denver. Olsen not a fan of the call. Sabotic is going to take the free kick. Correction will be Kataranicha, and you see there coming up behind Smith, just a little bit intense, and Wilson getting to shove in there as well. Back and forth, but it's Denver that gets called with the foul. Nico Kataranicha will take the free kick. A six foot freshman out of Melville High School right down the road in St. Louis. Sends this one away into this beautiful St. Charles night right around 70 degrees. And so far it's Denver on top. And a beautiful through ball played there into the edge of the 18. Centers it up and just missing out. Just a step behind was Olsen. So Denver with possession now. Sends it back to the back line. 17 and a half to play here in half number one. Denver on top of Lindenwood, one nothing. That goal coming from Sam Bassett. About 22 minutes into the action. Lindenwood only one shot recorded so far. Smith with it now. Taken away though by Suits and it's cleared away down the near sideline and we'll have a couple more substitutions. Entering into the game will be Liam Johnson and Kango O'Hara. Johnson, a 5'9 grad student out of Golden, Colorado. O'Hara, a 5'10 senior out of Tokyo, Japan. Knocked out of bounds by Wilson. We'll have a throw in now. It'll be Olsen. Whistle blown, they're gonna say that this one went out of bounds. Bit of a delayed whistle, but the Lions get it, so now they'll have a throw in deep in there on their defensive side, and Wilson's gonna take the throw in. Correction, they rule it as a free kick. Not sure if there was an offside call or not, but either way, it's cleared away. Isaac Hoog able to get ahead to it first. Harvatten in pursuit, trying to get something on the edge of the 18, but it's cleared away, and a whistle's gonna be blown. A foul called on Harvatten, just a little bit too physical there. Coming from the freshman out of Fort Zumwalt South. 15 minutes remaining in half number one. One nothing our score, Denver on top of Lindenwood. Attempted through ball there, taken away by the Lions defense. Sabotic will come out of his box and clear this one away. With it for Lindenwood on the far side is Harvatten. he sends it over to his back line. Campbell over to Mamutovic now switches to the near side Kataranicia sends it up finds Dino Mamutovic to the near side now Smilovic with it over to Suits Lindenwood putting together a little bit of passing chemistry now Suits with it rolls out of bounds it'll be a throw in 
for the Lions and Suits is going to, instead of trying to play quick here, allow for Wilson to throw something into the box and that's pretty smart. The chances for Lindenwood have been very low, to put it politely. So trying to get something into the box here with the limited amount of chances you've had is pretty smart thinking here by the Lions attack. And Wilson can throw it, gets it into the box, headed out though. Campbell came in, had an opportunity, but it was knocked away by the Denver defense before anything could come of it. Now going the other way, it's the Pioneers trying to create numbers. They have a couple of players. Lindenwood outnumbers them in defense. And they're able to take it away as a result. So good job there by the Lions defense, not allowing for any sort of counterattack. And on the near side here with it is Zachary Flax. Over to Kataranichia, now Wilson as they look to switch fields with it. That's exactly what they'll do. And they'll look to give it off to Mamutovic. Ball cleared up. Knocked away though by the Denver defense once again. Something uh, we have said quite often tonight. They have looked very good. There is a reason that this is one of the best teams in the country as far as Goals against average. They currently ranked 25th, ranked 25th in the country in goal differential. They're at plus 17. The save percentage is right near 80% as a team, which is good for top 20 in the country. Their shutout percentage is sixth in the country, 56%, which is just unbelievable. They're averaging over half of their games have resulted in shutouts. And these are against some very good teams keep in mind as well. And then their team goals against average is also top 10 in the country at right around 63%. And now an opportunity for the Lions. Oh no, just cleared away. Holy moly, Isaac Hogue was there. And this crowd, the sideline for the Lions reacting as if that one was going to end up in the back of the net. What a chance we see on the replay. Hogue able to get around Multiple defenders, what a save by Name. And then, before he could finally put it in on the final touch, it's cleared out by Denver. What a chance there, a missed opportunity. Now the corner for the Lions, looking to send something in on the far side, headed out by Denver. Suits now, gets a touch, cleared away, and it'll go back to midfield, looking to send it right back in over to Harvatton. Campbell holding on to it now, sends it down the line and it's gonna be knocked out of bounds. What an opportunity for the Lions, a chance to knot it up, not able to do so. And we'll have several substitutions coming on now. Entering into the game will be Dylan Aku, Griffin Meyer, as well as Lucas Fisher. Exiting for Denver, David Biggers, Sam Bassett, and Ronan Wynn. Play resumes, Lindenwood with possession, Smilovich, the leading goal scorer for the Lions. Sends it to the back line, Kotaranicia up to Suits, who scored his first career goal with Lindenwood last week against Southern Indiana. Oh, and a dangerous opportunity there, knocked away though, fortunately for the Lions, who Almost turned into a defensive turnover. Fortunately, Lindenwood with it. Smilovich to Kataranichia. To the near side now. Suits with it. He has room to work. Sends it up to the near side, or far side, my correction. Stellars with it. Opportunity in the box now. Hoog with it. Cleared away. The pace of play has evened out heavily here in the last five minutes. Lindenwood with several excellent opportunities and a couple of great saves made though by Isaac Name. Backing up the numbers that we have talked about are so strong this season for the Denver defense and in the goal net for the Pioneers. There's a reason they are ranked in the top 10 in the country, but Lindenwood is hanging around. They've had several good opportunities. 
most recent coming where Isaac Hoog was able to bounce his way between several defenders and had a shot that was just nicked by Isaac Name. And then on the rebound, it was cleared out by the Denver defense just before who could put it in the back of the net. Denver now getting back into their routine of sending it back and forth between their four defenders, searching for an opportunity to get something into the 18 yard box. Near side, currently with it is Baloli. Finally, ball moved up, now it's Olsen with it. Cleared away by, the, or knocked away by the Lions. They have possession, but it's taken right back by Denver, shot attempt there, but it's deflected out in front by the Denver defense, and we're gonna have a whistle blown foul called here against Denver. Crowd doing their part in this one as well. They have been vocal in their support for the Lions in the first half. Keeping it close here, looking for a little bit of senior day magic. It would be a huge upset, arguably the biggest upset in Lindenwood soccer history. It has been a season filled with challenges for the Lions. Only three wins, two of them coming against Southern Indiana, another team currently in transition but the Lions are fighting hard currently against the number 10 ranked team in the country. Trailing by one with seven and a half to play here in half number one. Still a ways to go and a lot of time to be played. You could argue for Lindenwood to try and get something in the back of the net, but also for Denver to stretch out this lead. We will see how the remainder of this one goes. On the far side currently with it is a coup. Near side now, back and forth between the defenders. Once again, now Baloli with it. To Johnson, back to Baloli. Taken away now by Isaac Hoog. Isaac Hoog. And a whistle blown and they're gonna call a foul against Denver. Well done there by Hoog, aggressive play. results in an opportunity here from about 30, 35 yards out. And both players went in relatively strong. Both players being Hoog and Griffin Meyer. Taking the free kick will be Honest Smilovich. Into the box, deflected out. Suits is there, cleared away. Oh, dangerous opportunity for the Lions in the box. Will make any coach nervous with the ball bouncing around that much inside of the six yard box. It was last touch though by Lindenwood, so it will be a goal kick. For Denver. Play resumes, five and a half to play here in half number one. One nothing, Denver on top. Trevor Wright currently with it, sends it back to Baloli. Sent up to Kengo O'Hara. Numbers now for Denver. We'll see if they use them. Stellars is there, coming in strong, is the 5'6 freshman defenseman out of Gateway Science Academy here in St. Louis. He may be the smallest down on the field, but fighting hard and has held his own there at left back. Good through ball, but the offsides flag is up. Would have been a great opportunity for Denver, but not able to stay on on the far side. We're the Pioneers. Yeah, 
so we will continue. Just about four minutes to play. Lindenwood currently prepping a sub to come in. That'll be Joaquin Herrera, one of the seniors on her today out of Caracas, Venezuela. Play resuming, Urena with it now. He has some speed here on the near side. Campbell matching step for step with him though. And he'll force him to reset back to the defense. If Lindenwood could get to the locker room with this one knotted at one, it would be huge for the Lions. Keep the deficit right where it is. And game plan for half number two. Urena with it now. Able to find Fisher. Room to work for him. Sending a ball into the box. Beautiful touch. Great save by Melton Sobotic. It was a great volley from Holger Olsen, the freshman out of Stockholm, Sweden, but Sobotic was there with the save on the volley. Took one bounce, and Sobotic said, I'll take that. Knocks it on out of bounds, and we'll have a corner kick now for Denver. Under three to play. Great opportunity here for the Pioneers. Taking the corner will be Fisher. Ball sent in. Goes through, and somehow... Roll all the way through those attackers. Several Pioneers were there looking to get ahead on the ball and send it into the back of the net. Fortunately, though, nobody was able to do so. Oh, dangerous opportunity there. So the Lions will clear this one away. Substitution as Smilovich comes on, or sorry, Smilovich comes off. Entering is Herrera. Play resumes. Campbell with it now. Tried cutting it outside. Physical play. Knocked away though by Denver. Wilson sends it back to Sabotic. Campbell now with it. Moira is there. Katarinicia now trying to center one. Finds Hoag. Back to Harvatten. Has it taken away though. Looking for a counter now is Denver. Over to the near si far side. Holding on to it is Griffin Meyer. Back to a coup. Cleared away. Getting a piece of it there was Flax. Looking to keep it in bounds. He'll knock it out, but it will be a throw in rather than a corner. One minute to play here in half number one. Ball being thrown in by Dylan Aku. Deflected out of bounds. And we will get a corner kick. The fourth corner of the night for Denver. Looking to take it quickly is Lucas Fisher. 30 seconds to play. Headed out by Suits, right back to the Denver attacker. Great play there by Herrera. Numbers for Lindenwood. Campbell with 18 to play. Who coming up the near sideline to the outside. Suits with it, entering onto the edge of the 18. Cuts back, looking to put a shot on, just over the crossbar. That will conclude the first half, but what a finish for the Lions showing some fight against the number 10 team in the country. Suits came storming up. Lindenwood, what a great planned counterattack, just a little too much on it. Holger Olsen will start things off as soon as the referee blows the whistle and approves for half number two to get underway. We are underway. Whistle blown and quickly looking for something off the attack. Headed out though by the Lions defense. Ball up in the air. 
Knocked away by Wilson. And now Harvatton with it, looking to thought for a moment for sending something upfield instead. Reset sends it to his back line. Knocked out of bounds, though, by the Pioneers. It'll be throwing for Linwood on the far side. Play just resuming here. Start of the second half. 1-0 our score. Denver on top. It was Sam Bassett putting in his seventh goal of the year. Just under 22 minutes into the game. Good one-two there from Stellars. Finding Herrera. Now room to work for Joaquin Herrera. Cuts back with it. Steps over. Sends it right back to Stellars. And he'll send it over to Flax. Flax to the near side. Stellars finding Herrera to the back side. Man on. The whistle blown. And a foul's going to be called here. That one was against Eli Marinus, a senior out of Cherry Creek High School in Centennial, Colorado. Stellars wearing the bright green Adidas cleats. was going to take the free kick. Instead, it is elected for Nico Cataraniccia to take it. He will take it near midfield, about 50 yards out from the goal. Ball sent into the edge of the 18, getting ahead on it. It was one man. Oh, with an attempted bicycle was Isaac Hogue. What an opportunity for the Lions. Showing the acrobats off there. Not able to put it in, but Isaac Hogue is hungry. Several great opportunities. Wasn't able to hit, just missed hit on the ball. But I tell you what, goal of the year nominee right there if he's able to finish that one off. The 6'4 sophomore has had opportunity after opportunity. Now on the opposite side, Denver with it, looking to put some pressure on here. Challenging the Lindenwood defense once again. They have numbers looking to send something into the box. They're able to do so, it was deflected out in front though on the cross. I believe it was a Lindenwood player that got their foot in there. So we will have another corner. Taking that corner will be Lucas Fisher, a junior out of Portland, Oregon. Sends it in. Headed out. Isaac Hoog was there. Getting a piece of it was Campbell to knock it out. Stops the resistance for just a moment. Looking to send it right back in. Takes a bounce to the far side. Sabotich elects to leave it. And wisely, it's cleared out by the Lindenwood defense. Ho getting a touch on it over to Campbell. Finds Mamutovich to his back line. Up to Suits. Harvatton now holding on to it. Had the game winner, or I'm sorry, had the second goal scored against Southern Indiana last week in the Lions' home win. Harvat now looking to switch fields with it. Good ball movement here by the Lions. Able to find Cotteranicia moving up the far side. Tried to send the ball in. It was deflected away by Denver. Whistle blown now. Just a bit too much there from Holger Olsen. Play quickly resumes. On the far side. Taken away by the Lions. Sent back to Melvin Sabotic. Quickly resuming play as he knocks this one. Back to midfield. Denver with it. Ball sent up the far sideline. With it is David Biggers. Back into the game after starting. Got a rest for the last half of the first leg of play. Marinus with it now. Sends a ball up. Attempted through ball. Getting a piece of it was Joaquin Herrera. And we'll have another corner. It'll once again be Lucas Fisher. Fisher on the season, two goals scored, two assists. Cultivating for six points on the season. Sends the ball in. 
Headed first by Lindenwood, ball in the air, knocked away by the Lions. Still in possession is Denver. Sent right back into the box, deflected away once again. Number still, and it ends up in the back of the net. Holger Olsen makes it 2 nothing. You put enough pressure on, a team like Denver is gonna take advantage. Ball was first headed out by Lindenwood, but Melden Sabotich had no chance on the bouncer. And just like that, a two goal lead for the Pioneers. Holger Olsen's third goal of the season. Makes it a two nothing game. Play resumes. Two nothing our score. All momentum now on Denver's side. Lindenwood trying to do anything they can to try and shift some, some of it over back to them. No team, that one team, correction, one team this season has scored more than one goal against Denver. That was 25th ranked Pittsburgh. Several very impressive wins for the Denver Pioneers this season, including a two nothing win against ninth ranked Maryland, 21st ranked Virginia, also draws coming against 13th ranked Portland and 25th ranked Pittsburgh. Player down. That is number 26, Jake Smith, who is having some trouble there with his ankle or foot it looks like. Smith, a redshirt freshman out of Wake Forest, North Carolina coming from Wake Forest. Second player in the game to be shaken up for Denver. We go back to the replay on the second goal sent in from the free kick, deflected first by Lindenwood, but Olsen was there. Takes a couple of bounces and Sabotich just was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Great placement there by Holger Olsen. So Jake Smith comes off for a breather. Ball thrown in on the far side by Wilson. In pursuit is Isaac Hogue. It's going to be deflected out of bounds, so it will be a throw in for the Lions right there near the corner flag on the far side. And who other than Cooper Wilson to take it? Basically the equivalent of a corner kick when he's throwing these balls in from that area. Right there to the corner, opportunity for the Lions deflected out though by Denver, well done by the defense. Campbell's there, suits there, opportunity shot on, deflect that out. Looking for the handball, nothing called though by the ref. And now a whistle finally gonna be blown. It'll be a foul called against Lindenwood and still several players griping about no handball call there. Little bit of a push there from Sutz. So Name will take the free kick. Lindenwood with possession, Wilson to the far side, finds Suits. Harvatten over to Wilson, trying to keep it in bounds. He's able to do so. Trying to find who, entering into the box. Deflected out, we'll see who they give it to and they're gonna rule it a goal kick. As the game has gone on though, you can tell, Lindenwood just is continuing to look more and more comfortable 
with possession. Opportunities becoming a bit more dangerous as the game has gone on. We're going to have a substitution now entering into the game. Will be number 19, A.J. Francois. Denver coached by Jamie Franks in his eighth season with the Pioneers. A record of 83, 30, and 18 entering the season. Very successful tenure in his time with the Pioneers. That comes after playing for Wake Forest at the collegiate level. Winning a national championship with them as well. has built a very successful program here in the capital city of Colorado. To the far side, takes one bounce and it'll roll on out of bounds there. Right in front of the brand new Simmons Hanley Conroy scoreboard. Back and forth between the two teams. 2 nothing. our score. Whistle blown and there will be another foul on Caleb Suits. A little bit of a hand shove there coming from Suits. David Biggers was the victim there. Taking the free kick will be Ian Smith. Sends it back to his back line. Right. Up to Biggers. To the near side. Finding Roman Wynn. Right back to Baloli, though. They'll get Isaac Name involved here, the six foot freshman out of Colorado Springs. Thirty-four and a half to play here in half number two. 2-0 our score. Denver on top of Lindenwood. The Lions Senior Day. They honored Zachary Martin, Alex Imig, Zachary Flax, Parkin Harape, Logan Doerr, Joaquin Herrera, and Caleb Suits before the game. Deflected off of Lindenwood, it'll be a throw and quickly moving the other way. Numbers for the Pioneers into the edge of the 18. Cleared out though by Flax. Still with possession for the Pioneers. Olsen tried to send something into the box. It's knocked away though and it'll be a throw in for Denver. Bodich will have a goal kick now as that one rolled out of bounds. Whistle blown, we're gonna have another foul and it will be against Denver. A bit of a shove coming there as the ball was in the air and Campbell and the Denver attacker, I believe that was Biggers going back and forth for it. So a free kick will be taken here by Kotaranichia at the 45 yard line. Ball sent in, headed out with ease by Denver, though it goes right back to Cotarinici, sends it outside, finds Suits. Suits goes outside with it, finds Wilson. Wilson trying to send something into the edge of the 18. Deflected, up in the air, getting ahead on it first was Denver. No whistle blown, though, despite the physical play. 
Still with Wilson now over to Campbell. We'll see if Linwood tries to send something into the box. That's exactly what they try to do, but a, a deflection. Ends up leaving it right with Isaac Name. He'll clear this one out. What a ball on the bounce, right to Olsen, into the box, shot put on, and it's in the back of the net. What a job done there. Isaac Name to Holger Olsen. You cannot get much better of a punt leading to a goal scored right there. Touched with the head once, right past Sabotic, 3 0. Denver has stretched out this lead in the first 15 minutes of half number two. Kataranicia was no match for the speed of the six foot freshman out of Stockholm, Sweden. So Lindenwood will resume with ball. Jonathan Campbell coming off. Entering for him is Anish Smilovich. On the far side, Denver once again looking to attack. Just a bit too much on the touch though. And we're gonna have a whistle blown now. We're gonna get a card. And it is going to be given, I'm trying to see who they're gonna give it to here. And I believe it's going to be given to Cooper Wilson. That one I think a little bit of a frustration foul there and now Denver's gonna get a really good opportunity for a free kick taken here right side, right outside of the 18. About a little over 20 yards out here from goal. Fisher's there, Smith is there. We'll see who ends up taking it. They both set up. Blocked by the wall by the Lions. Still with it though. Centered up off of the goal post. Just above the crossbar. Great opportunity there once again by Denver. It stays three to zero. Centered up, and no one within the vicinity of Holson, sorry, Olson or Biggers. Logan Dora will come on, and Kotaranicha will come off, and adding some fresh legs. A wise move there. As you can tell, Lindenwood just looks gassed right now. Not a lot of energy, trailing now by three goals. Denver has not allowed three goals in a game this season. Only 10 goals allowed this season in total. Isaac Hogue with it now. Over to Sutz. Caleb Sutz with it. Back to Hogue. To Mamutovich. Switches it near side to Stellars. He'll go right back to Flax, who sends it over to Stellars again on the near side. Right to a Denver defenseman, and that ball is sent up. Takes a couple of bounces where Flax sends it over to Wilson on the far side. He looks to send the ball in. No one is anywhere near, and on a couple of bounces, it'll go to Isaac Name. And he'll finally pick it up. Under 30 to play. 3-0 our score. Denver on top of Lindenwood. This one being played at Hunter Stadium on the campus of Lindenwood University in St. Charles, Missouri. I'm Ethan Hannaford. Pleased that you were tuned in for this one. Physical play there as Isaac Hoog. 
with a bit of a collision there on Eli Morenis. And you can see him saying, no harm, no foul there, no, no intentionality. And we will resume play, 29 minutes remaining. Stellars with it now, sends it right back down the line. And it will go to Marinus. Speeding all the way around the Lindenwood defense into the edge of the 18. Sends it back, finds Win, Win, near sideline. Crosses one in and with offsides flag will be thrown up. And it'll be a free kick for the Lions. Ball cleared away, getting ahead on it first is Denver. But it's Lindenwood with possession. Suits holding on to it. Sends it back to Logan Dorr. Switches fields with it. Finds Herrera. Back over to Wilson. Working his way around the Denver midfield. Taken away though and now speed. On the far sideline with it is Francois. Sending something into the box. Just a bit too much on it though for Fisher. To get a foot on it, it rolls out of bounds so it will be a goal kick. Entering into the game will be Sam Bassett. Bassett scored the, what would as of now be the go ahead goal. 21 minutes in to the first half. A couple more substitutions coming on here in just a moment. Be Feo Sabotic as well as Devin Livingstone. The substitutions will enter now. Isaac Hogue will come off, as well as Ryan Harvatton. Job well done by those two. Several opportunities created by both. Hogue with a couple of great opportunities. He'll get a breather now with the substitutions coming on. So Wilson. Going to look to throw something into the box here. That's exactly what he'll do. Getting ahead on at first was Lindenwood, but it's headed on out of bounds. So it'll be a goal kick. Play resumes. Ball sent on the far side. Whistleblown foul is going to be called there against Livingstone. It'll be a free kick. 25 and a half to play. 3 0 Denver on top. Overall, the game has been controlled by them. There were moments where Lindenwood had a couple of good opportunities. Looked like they may be able to capitalize on something. We see here the foul committed by Livingstone just going in late and. Clear foul there. Lindenwood will throw the ball in right around midfield. Finding Mamutovic over to the near side. Doer to Stellars, back to Doer. Deflected out of bounds by Dylan Aku. So Stellars will throw it in here. Down 
Down the near sideline, flicked on by Doer. Ends up with a coup, he clears it out. It's gonna take a couple of bounces where it goes to Wilson. He flicks it up to himself. Knocked away though. Flax is there though, he's gonna send it to Sabotich and he's going to clear out. Finding the head of Jason Baloli. Ends up back on with the Lindenwood back line. Herrera, two Caleb suits. Has it taken away though. We move the other way. Denver with it. Taken away by the Lions now. Sabotich sends it back to Herrera. He's going to send it up right back to Sabotich, to Wilson on the back line. And they'll switch fields with it over to the near side. Flax turns right back around to give it to his co-central back, center back, Cooper Wilson. To Flax. Once again, right back to Wilson. 23 and a half remaining. Wilson holding on to it. To the far side, finds Herrera. One, two over to Wilson. Still with possession, able to find suits and finally a whistle blown here. Foul's gonna be called against Denver. Clear push there. Coming from Eli Marinus, senior out of Centennial, Colorado. Fejo Sabotic takes the free kick into the edge of the 18. Headed on, Suits is there. Too strong of a first touch to get a shot on now. Doer to the near side. Smilovic deflected away and it'll be Cleared out now by Denver. Back to Stellars, gets a foot on it. To the Denver attackers now. Back and forth between the two teams. Bassett holding on to it for the moment. Sends a good through ball down the line, finding Roman Wynn. Knocked away though by Doer. Switching fields with it, Francois with it, trying to put something on net. And Sabota handles with ease. Play continuing on. Herrera with it, finds Fejo Sabotic. Back to the back line on the far side. The right back, Herrera. Looking to center it up, he finds his goalkeeper, Meldon Sabotic. Now Flax. Doer now, all the way back to Sabotich. Denver doing a good job of staying centered, not allowing for any easy openings to be found by the Lion defense into the attack. Turnover right around midfield for Lindenwood. Opportunity now for Denver to stretch out this lead potentially with possession in their attacking area. Roman win over to Francois. Tried finding win on the through ball, too much on it, and it ends up rolling out of bounds. It'll be a goal kick. We'll have a couple of substitutions entering into the game for the first time in this one is Edvin Mamutovic. Also coming on, back into the game is Kengo O'Hara. Coming off for Lindenwood is Caleb Suits. First touched by Denver, they still hold possession now on their back line. Under 20 to play here in the second half. Baloli with it now, back to the near side. Right and Baloli going back and forth. Not the first time I've said that in this game. Attempted through ball there, but Sabotic is there. And will hold on to it. Rolls it out, finding Flax. 
Not a lot of urgency right now from the Lions. Right back to Sabotic. Flax holding on to it now. Once again, back to Sabotic and that is not something you ever want to see right there. A little bit too much on the pass from Flax and just a little bit of offensive pressure causes the turnover. Ball is sent away out of bounds by Sabotic. Having a couple of substitutions now, Griffin Meyer back into the game as well as Liam Johnson. Liam Johnson with a huge play at the end of the first half. Lindenwood's best opportunity coming. Isaac Hogue was able to, if that one rolls out of bounds, it'll be deflected out, corner kick. Isaac Hogue was able to get around a couple of the Denver defenders. And a great save was made by Isaac Name, but Johnson was there to clear out to the second attempt by Hogue. It otherwise probably would have ended up in the back of the net and would have tied this one up at one going into the half. Instead, we have a completely different game. Three nothing our score. Ball sent in now. Headed out, cleared away by Lindenwood. Outside of the 18. Oh, well, what a great save there by Sobotic, the shot coming from Kengo Oira with the left from about 25 yards out. This one headed away and cleared out by the Lions. Resetting Francois with it. Back to Marinus. Once again, Francois. Denver in no rush to do anything here with a 3-0 lead and only 17 and a half to play in the contest. They have controlled pace of play for the large majority of the game. Besides a couple of opportunities from the Lions, this one has been all Denver. Showing why they are a top 10 team in the nation. Currently with it, Johnson sends it back to Smith. Over to Meyer. Offsides flag is up. And Lindenwood will get possession back. So Wilson will take the free kick. Sends this one away. At the midfield, whistle blown. We're going to have a foul called, and it's going to be against Denver. So Lindenwood will get ball back. Wilson will take the free kick right around midfield. Offside line set right around the 19, 20 yard line. Ball sent in and getting ahead on it first is Denver. On the far side, it's Francois who's gonna clear out. Still with Denver, moving the other way. Meyer, numbers for the Pioneers on the counterattack. Meyer still with it. Great through ball sent. Numbers, Oira is there and it's in the back of the net. What a counterattack by the Denver offense. Not many words to be said about how impressive the chemistry was on the passing to move up the sideline, switch fields at the last moment and Kengo Oira making that look easy. His second goal on the season, six points now in total on the year. The midfield senior standing in at 5'10 out of Tokyo, Japan. Making this a four nothing game. Denver has blown this one up in half number two. 
with three goals in the first half hour of the second half. And the Lions season not going to end how they were hoping. Fifteen minutes remaining on this season for Lindenwood. We're going to have a couple of substitutions for the Lions as entering will be Isaac Hogue, Jonathan Campbell, Ryan Harvatton, and Caleb Soots. If you are Denver, you're feeling much better about this second half than you did the first half. And, and honestly, the biggest difference in the keys that I shared for the second half for both of these teams, for Lindenwood, it was to build off of those moments that you had of opportunities at the end of the first half. And honestly, they haven't really been able to do that much. They had a couple of decent chances earlier in the second half. But once Denver put in goal number two, that really did it in. Three goals scored in the second half so far. Still 13 minutes, shot put on. Ends up going wide left off of the corner. And like I said, there are not any moral victories at this level. You take a loss as it is. There are positive, that doesn't mean there's not any positive things to gain though. This is a clear difference in levels of play. Lindenwood adjusting here at the division one level and a little bit of a scrum there between a couple of guys. Smilovich was in on that and some pushing and shoving between players. Finally able to separate out the players a little bit. We're gonna have a card drawn and that's going to be, looks like Smilovich is going to get one as well as Liam Johnson. So more cards being handed out. Here with 12.55 to play in half number two. So Smilovich will come off. Harvatton comes on for Smilovich. Fejo Sabotic is going to take the free kick from about 45-ish yards out. Offside line set about seven yards outside of the 18. Cleared out immediately. And not too far out in front of us, right here in the home bleachers on the Hunter Stadium side. On the home side. So the substitutions coming in now. Hoag, Soots, Harvatton, and Livingstone all into the game. Or I'm sorry, Campbell, not Livingstone. Livingstone coming out. Along with Mamutovich, Doer, and Smilovich. Just exited a moment ago. Wilson with it now. Sends the ball down the line, finds Campbell. Stellars has the ball knocked away. It'll be a throw in going the other way for the Pioneers. Couple more substitutions entering on here for Denver. Connor McWilliams, along with Rui Frazier, coming off, Ian Smith, and Ronan Wynn. Whistle blown, foul called on Harvatton. That one was against Oira. 
So quickly, it looks like the free kick's going to be taken by Kanga Oira. They spread the field out and will hold on to it with their back line. Under 11 minutes to play now in the game. Three goals scored here in the second half by Lindenwood. I'm sorry, by Denver. Three goals allowed by the Lions here in the second half. Definitely not the way you want this season to end and for Denver, it will not be the way the season ends. More to be played for them. Keep away here coming from the Denver defense on the back line. As I say that, they send a ball up. Taken away by the Lions for just a moment. It was Sabotic, but getting it back is Marnus. The newly entered Connor McWilliams with the ball on his foot, centers it up, finds Liam Johnson, who was just given a yellow card a couple of minutes ago. Attempted through ball there for Francois. He goes right past the defenders and just too much for Arena, who was there, or here, I'm sorry. Denver with it on the near side now. They center it up and they'll slow down the attack, sending it to their back line. And I tell you what, they incorporate all 11 men in their attack almost all the time. Offsides flag is up, another one there for the Pioneers. Four offsides now in the game for them. Free kick. Headed away by Denver. Arvatten with it now, taken away once again though by the Pioneers. Bassett to Arena. Oh, here are my apologies. On the far side, Denver carrying it upfield. Knocked away by Herrera over to Sabotic. Looking to send a through ball, finding Herrera, but getting to it first was a Denver defender. That was Ruri Frazier, and it'll end up back with Name. They reset on the far side at the defense. Right holding on to it. Seven and a half to play here. Lindenwood will finish up the season with a record at home of two and two. Much prettier than their record on the road this season, which was one, nine and one. Included a difficult schedule, including games against Southern Illinois, Edwardsville, 25th ranked Missouri State, Butler, and then got in a conference play with challenging matches against Oral Roberts, Evansville, Omaha, St. Thomas, and finishing off here with the 10th ranked team in the country. who have a very good chance of receiving an at-large bid in the NCAA tournament. Only so many teams get those. Have to imagine they're one of the favorites to represent the conference as well, though. These two teams. Oh 
Denver and Oral Roberts, the favorites to represent the conference. The two faced off not too long ago, and it was actually Denver that was able to grab a 1-0 win. Attempted shot there is nowhere near. The goal ends up back in the student section. Bleachers. Edvin Mamutovich enters into the game for Fejo Sabotic. On the goal kick, headed out by Lindenwood. Campbell with it, with five minutes to play. Ball thrown in down the near sideline. Campbell has it knocked away. So it'll be a throw in for the Lions once again. Denver has taken advantage of opportunities here in the second half and that's been the biggest difference between half number one and half number two of play. Frustrating finish to the season here for the Lions. Ball in the six yard box and knocked away though by Denver. And now a whistle is going to be blown. And we're gonna have a free kick. While it has been a frustrating season and a frustrating finish tonight for the men's team, the women's team playing in the OVC semifinals coming up this Friday. They'll face off against Tennessee Tech. They were able to grab a thrilling win on the road against Southeast Missouri State. It took penalty kicks for them to win that game, but were able to finish with a 3-0 win in PKs after finishing with a 1-1 tie after 120 minutes of play. Sam Blazek, the goalie for the Lions, was phenomenal in that one. I believe 14 saves. So they'll look to repeat the success they tied against Tennessee Tech early in the, earlier in the season. So we'll see if the Lions can enter in, make it past Tennessee Tech, end up in the OVC championship in their first season at the Division I level. Meanwhile here, just under three minutes to play. Number 10 ranked Denver on top, four nothing our score. Back and forth with it, Frazier holding on to it on the far side. Over to Marinus. Now with it, Johnson. Back to McWilliams. Johnson back with it, they send the ball up, finding Bassett, leading goal scorer this year for both Denver, but also the Summit League as a whole. Seven goals scored, now stands alone on the top of the list, was tied with several players going into today. Isaac Hogue with it now, finds Suits, over to Campbell, has it taken away, moving the other way, under two minutes to play now, Denver with it. Can go here with it. Sends it back. Finding Meekum. Oriero with it once again, trying to send a ball through. Instead, it's Cleared away by Wilson, but right back to Owira. He enters into the outside of the 18, sends it over to Francois on the far side. Cuts around one defender. And it's knocked out of bounds. 
with a minute to play. Sabotic will look to clear this one. In no rush, though. Denver will win their 10th game of the season, will jump to a record of 10-2-5. Their seventh win on the road, 7-1-3. and one and three. In total, they've been very good away from home this season. On the other side, Lindenwood in their first year at the, the Division I level, the regular season will conclude. They'll fall to 3-11-1. Isaac Hogue sends it over to Herrera. Over to Mamjatovic. Under a minute, under 30 seconds now. Fisted out there by Name. Volley put on, deflected out front right by the 18. Shot put on, just over the crossbar. 10 seconds to play, and that will wrap up the regular season for the Lindenwood Lions. The buzzer goes off, and this one is final. Denver gets the win. 4-0 to zero the final score. They defeat Lindenwood. Their 10th win of the year for the 10th ranked Pioneers. On the other side, Linwood falls to 3-11-1. Three goals scored in the second half as the